Hello, thanks for joining me again. Um, this week's river patterns for the grayling really. It's a little fly I came across a couple of years back. It's, it's super effective when you're not quite sure what's rising and uh, I thought I'd share it with you today. If you're enjoying the channel, please subscribe. And in the vise at the moment, we have a Hanak 330. It's at size 14, so quite a small fly. And the thread I'm going to be using today is the Vivas. It's an A2 and it's a black thread. First thing I'm going to do is get a little bit of wax onto my thread. And I'm going to start just back from the eye. I'm going to leave my rat's tail on. Then come back to the start. Okay, I'm going to use a CDC for the wing. I'm using a Hanak CDC feather. And I've already taken some out of the packet and stacked three plumes. I'm going to turn that round so it's facing the right direction. And it wants to be roughly the same length as the hook. So you can get a couple of wraps on there. Just to see where you stand. That looks okay. And similar to the yellow L, I'm going to just cut at an angle so I can get a nice taper to my body. So I'm going to come down now and hopefully this will taper off nicely. And I'm going to cut away at this point. Now, this fly has a trailing shuck, and what I'm going to use is some of this stuff, one, one strand actually, and it's a crystal flash. This came from the Fly Time Boutique, I believe. And it's like a twisted, glittery flash. And what I want to do is get two strands of that coming from the back of the fly. And what this does is it simulates the fly leaving its shuck behind. To develop into a flying insect. So I'm just going to catch in on your side now. Now before I come back up, I'm going to add a rib um, to this. And I'm going to use a copper rib on this occasion. Uh, it's small, that's the UTC. And I want to bring that up the entire length of the fly. So I'm just going to come back. Catch it in on my side. Try and keep your turns nice and touching. Now, before I go any further, I'll just trim away my shuck. Obviously, it's not going to trail that long. So I'll come in and I want to leave about two eighths of an inch, like so. Now very often I don't bother with the rib, I just leave the body black, plain, and it seems to work uh, just fine, but I thought for the purpose of the video I would add a rib today. Get up near the top. 
going to catch that in, keeping it under tension. I can then twist that away. Now the uh, what I'm going to use for the thorax is, is some of this stuff. Now the label is faded, but it's called Prism, and it's basically a, a peacock glitz fibre, very very like the Hens 45 dubbing, very similar. So I'm going to grab a little bit of this and simply dub that on. Doesn't need much. Then I can come in, build in my thorax. I'm going to pull my CDC behind now. I've left a little bit of room in the front. And to finish off, some Solaris. Delivering back out the way. Get your quick finish tool out if you've got one. Or finish off with a half hitch. Remove your waist with the scissors. Pull back your feather. And cue your resin. Of course, if you're, if you're not a fan of doing finishing this way, you can simply varnish the head and put it to the side to dry, but I like to, to finish like this. It's quick and it's efficient. There we go. Now, it's a real quick fly to tie, especially if uh, you decide not to bother with a rib, and I rarely do. It doesn't seem to make any difference. Uh, and there you have it. Just a little grail and dry. It works great, especially in the size, size 14. It's, it's a real fish killer. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time.